Well, still accepting a few more. I think they are still coming. So we can maybe wait three more minutes and then we can start up. Okay, I give one more <laughs> last minute and then I will be starting. Still admitting some more people. Yes. Okay, I think we can start right now and then hopefully the rest will join us later on. So I would like to say hi once again to everyone and thank you for joining us today for our Robusto RPA demo event. And uh, we are very glad to see you all here. Um, I'm working as a senior sales manager and today we will be giving you a brief information about our company robusta and it will continue with the product uh, presentation and the demo session afterwards well our demo uh, program will take about an hour and during the first uh, 10 minutes uh, of the session our managing director and the co-founder uh, of our company Robusta, Mr. Murat Dayanaklı will give you information about our company Robusta in general and further on our RPA consultant Mahmut and our RPA Academy uh, manager Yusuf Atalan will give you a brief presentation about our RPA product itself and the product demo session will take place afterwards. So during the event, uh, if you got any questions, please uh, feel free to write in the chat box. Uh, we will try to answer them by the end of uh, our event during the 10 minutes of question and answer session. So uh, now I would like to give the word to Mr. Murat Bey and uh, thank you. Thank you, Bilge. And uh, welcome to all. Uh, it's nice uh, being with you. And uh, so we opened our Amsterdam office uh, in a couple of weeks ago, and uh, we get a request uh, from the people to make a, a product demo. So it gave us uh, opportunity uh, to organize this event, and I'm happy to be uh, with all you guys. Uh, so I will, and today I will uh, just. Uh, give a brief information about the uh, Robusta for whom uh, who uh, couldn't uh, join the last uh, event. So then uh, before we getting started with the product demo, uh, then I can uh, give uh, briefly give information about uh, our company. So Robusta uh, is founded on uh, to, uh, 2017 and we're uh, on, uh, truly focused on the RPA uh, product development. So our uh, actually we see this area is a, a kind of virtual digital workers and which is specialized in this technology to helping a business to automate their business processes, especially uh, starting from the uh, non value added task uh, routine task. Uh, so then uh, this uh, area is now growing uh, also to include uh, 
knowledge uh, processes as well uh, with help of the AI. So Robusta is also uh, growing in this area, not only the routine task, but also the <clears throat> AI task also in, uh, can be automated with the Robusta. Uh, so uh, after uh, founded, uh, we in Turkey uh, reached the uh, 60 plus customers, enterprise customers, and uh, we have uh, three uh, main offices, Istanbul, Ankara, and uh, Amsterdam. And uh, now uh, we have also uh, more than uh, 50 uh, plus employees. And with this, uh, to grow uh, with the uh, ecosystem, we are building our partner uh, channels. And uh, with our partners, we are trying to increase our coverage uh, all over the world. So the Europe is a very important uh, area for us. And today, uh, mainly, we will uh, focus uh, to how to add the value to our partners as well. So uh, after uh, all this uh, brief information about the company, just I want to also uh, give a few words about the product, uh, our product. So our product, uh, when we look, uh, started uh, to develop uh, our product, we just look at uh, the hype and notice that uh, the people is talking about the process automation. So the uh, autumn, autumn process management technology, BPM, is around a long time. And uh, this RPA and the BPM technology should uh, be converged. And that's why we uh, took a different approach than the other products. And uh, we chosen our uh, product uh, portfolio uh, combining uh, with the BPM technology. Business process management technology is uh, widely used. Uh, that's why uh, it is easy to learn. And also it is uh, uh, for the IT and business can work together with the help of uh, simple uh, notation. So you can design your processes as if uh, you are uh, designing very simple uh, Microsoft Visio uh, process flow. So today, uh, Mahmoud will uh, gonna show you uh, about how we uh, automate uh, any simple uh, business processes. So uh, with the help of this PPM technology, another uh, important point uh, from the Robusta point of view is that the uh, designing process makes uh, simple uh, when we use the BPM technology because we can segregate uh, the business flow from the uh, business rules. You know, business rules uh, changes very frequently. And uh, when you, uh, when the business rules uh, changes, you need to also rectify the same changes to the, your flow. This is uh, very time consuming and also it requires a lot of uh, effort. So, uh, but uh, when, the, uh, when we segregate it and manage uh, this uh, with the uh, help of uh, business rule managers, you don't need to touch to the business flow, but only change the business rules in a simple decision table. So it makes life very easy. Uh, in this way, uh, the, also your process design becomes very easy. Uh, so uh, if uh, any uh, RPA developer automated your process and tomorrow if any other uh, RPA developer picks up the uh, process, they can immediately understand and uh, can ma maintain the process because it is very uh, simple and easy. Also, uh, with the help of the rule manager, you can uh, look and uh, change the uh, business rules without touching the uh, process itself. So, uh, also, uh, the AI capabilities are embedded into the product. This is also very important for us. We in integrated our product with the uh, well-known uh, AI services. If a customer has a subscription for this cloud-based uh, applications, but uh, we also offer embedded AI capabilities. Uh, and every day uh, we are adding new uh, features. Uh, so uh, the cus our customers doesn't have to go to the outside. Uh, they can uh, truly use Robusta AI services and to automate uh, their processes. So uh, this uh, that way, uh, we offer lower uh, lower uh, uh, cost of ownership. In that case, 
uh, we will continue uh, to improve that area so uh, our customers can utilize uh, this uh, uh, tool uh, better so when i uh, yeah when i talk about the uh, tool i'm always uh, telling uh, some practice is uh, important then uh, in a couple of minutes uh, Mahmoud will show you and they uh, look and feel so we uh, the, as a, a few words uh, we just uh, aim to deliver the compact product uh, all in one concept you don't need to go outside for different uh, reasons we are trying to uh, um, give you the uh, basic uh, all the basic and well functioned uh, uh, features then you can automate your processes uh, without uh, needing any extra uh, features or tools so uh, thanks uh, and uh, maybe you can take over thank you very much uh, now i would like to remind you once again if you got any questions um, please feel free to uh, write them in the chat box but we will be able to answer them, try to answer them by the end of the session. And now I would like to give the word to Mahmoud and Yusuf Bey for the product presentation and the product demo. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, about uh, Murat and uh, Bilji. Yeah, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm uh, Mahmoud Salim. I'm uh, relatively new to this RPA process. Uh, so I am not experienced, but due to this, I found it very easy to use this tool. And despite not having a background of RPA, I was uh, able to quickly uh, grasp the system and be able to develop uh, from scratch applications. Uh, I found it very user friendly and uh, easy to use. So my compliments to the team of uh, delivering such a nice tool. Um, let me start with the demo. Can everybody see my screen? Let me share my screen. Yes, it's opening now. Great. Yeah. Okay, so as mentioned, uh, welcome everybody. So, and Murat uh, son already uh, gave a very good uh, high level information about uh, how Robust has built. Um, so basically you have an RPA developer, one or multiple, depending on the need of the customer, and which acts as the orchestrator. The orchestrator, there you define all your processes uh, and all your settings. We will look into the process uh, orchestrator in more detail uh, just now. Um, it's very nice to inform you that the Robusta tool is database independent, which what, what does it mean? That uh, any database which connects to JDBC Robusta can be installed on that database, whether it is uh, Java DB, uh, whether it's Oracle, Progress, uh, SAP DB, any database which connects with JDBC uh, on Robusta supports it fully. And once the orchestrator, the user defines all the details in the orchestrator, a worker, one or multiple, can be executed depending on the need of the customer. A worker is also a bot or a robot which will do the actual work. Uh, so this is in high level the process and so I find it very easy to use and it's very user friendly. So uh, as mentioned by Murat, uh, the, the Robusta tool combines both uh, the BPM native processes as well as the new RPA components of Robusta. Uh, these are the RPA components which Robusta uh, included. So you can access a PDF, read from a PDF, write to a PDF, uh, similar to an Excel, read from Excel. We will uh, look into a demo where we use this one. Uh, you can read to an Excel file. Uh, you can read and write to text files, words file. You can even uh, receive emails from via Outlook. You can access any database using JDBC. And uh, it's very nice to inform you that Depending on the database activity, we can even start uh, the robots, whether it's an, based on a triggering moment, an update, insert, uh, it is all supported using this tool. Uh, also very nice to inform you that the Robusta tool can even execute uh, da database commands, call functions, procedures, do updates, insert, so it's, it's fully embedded into the database. We do support XML, receiving, reading, writing. Uh, we have mail features, you can send out emails, you can receive emails. It's even possible that once you receive an email with a certain attachment, 
that you trigger a robot to execute a certain activity based on that email, based on that attachment. We have the capability of uh, interacting with the SAP uh, ERP system, which is very nice. Uh, we also have the uh, capability of accessing Oracle uh, EBS. Uh, Oracle EBS is accessed via a web application, uh, which is fully supported. We also support the regular web applications, just as normal websites, to be uh, populating data there, retrieving data from those websites, which we will show you in a short moment. We have the capability of writing an uh, SSH code, Linux, Unix, it's all supported using the SSH uh, commands. We have uh, uh, the option to also use FTP and SFTP to transfer files in a secure mode. It's all fully supported within the uh, worker. Uh, also, it's very nice to inform you that uh, we do have the capability to use the command prompt, which is the Windows CMD option. Uh, for example, if you have a, uh, a batch job, which is uh, on your laptop or on a server, which is accessible via the CMD, you can ex uh, execute it using the uh, Robusta uh, worker. Uh, optical character recognition is also supported, fully supported. You, you can read, uh, read text, uh, find uh, specific words. It's fully processed. Image processing. We have uh, computer vision. The computer vision is reading barcodes, reading QR codes, etc. We have cognitive services, which is very nice. Facial recognition, picture recognition. So it's, it's a very comprehensive uh, tool. Uh, all this, it's worth to mention that all these options are fully documented and the documentation is very mature, so it's a very mature tool. Uh, I will show you the documentation in a bit. So, how does the uh, Robusta tool look like? You have an orchestrator. Within the orchestrator, you have an administrative part where you define all your settings. Then you have the setting, it's the scheduling part. Once you create a worker, a robot, you can schedule it depending on the need, whether it's daily, hourly, uh, um, every minute if needed even. And you can also, as mentioned, uh, have the process running depending on a certain activity, whether it's a database uh, activity, whether it's a receipt of an email, whether it's uh, any other activity, it's all supported. Next to that, we have the identity management where you define all the users. And then it's very important to mention that the users, uh, you can segregate their duties. So a finance uh, person cannot access HR and an HR person uh, cannot access finance uh, details. So it's very important for uh, being SOX compliance and segregating all the de de details. We also define all the definitions within the orchestrator. Then we have the design studio. The design studio contains all the RPA services, uh, which you can define using the modeler. We also have the option to record and report, which is very important for auditing purposes and monitoring purposes. Also, we have the worker, which does the actual activity. So, we have a couple of demos for you uh, prepared, and we will show them to you. Before starting the demo, let me first uh, inform you what the demo is all about. So, we have a couple of scenarios. The first scenario is related to the body mass index. So I see you thinking, what does it mean, body mass index? It's a ratio, and depending on your height and weight, you can be uh, in a good health or not in a good health. And uh, suppose you, want, you have a spreadsheet, and it contains all the weights and heights of your employees, or any scenario. And you do not want to calculate it manually. You have a website where you populate all these heights, heights and weights, the, the website performs all the calculations for you and then gives you the result for each row back into the Excel sheet. That would be perfect. It's a repetitive task and you do not want to have your uh, employee doing this one by one, consuming lots of time. You want to have it automated in a very quick way so that it is uh, executed and saving you uh, time and labor cost. So let's go to the application. So as mentioned, this is the orchestrator, uh, the Robusta orchestrator. And we have here the option of identity management where we define all the users and segregate their roles and responsibilities. It's very important. Then we have the administrative task. This is uh, purely for the uh, Robusta uh, administrating settings and uh, controls all the settings within the application itself. 
Next to this, we have the, set, the general settings. This is more important for us because in this system, we can define all the workers, how many workers we want to run, and also uh, have the option to trigger a certain worker uh, process based on receipt of a file, based on an email, based on a database activity. This is all handled in here. Next to that, we have the modeler. The modeler, we will look into detail just now. This In this process, we, you can define uh, your steps, which you want to have executed, uh, all the flows, which you want to read from a file, whether you want to open a certain web website. All these steps are recorded in the modeler. So this is actually the creation of the worker. Next to that, once you create it, you have a scheduler. In the scheduler, you can define uh, the frequency whether you once you want to run the process whether it's hourly daily minutes it is all possible to schedule we also have a dashboard dashboard is very uh, nice to have and beautiful you can monitor your processes see how long they take do some fine tuning increase some bots decrease some bots it is all possible using this dashboarding tool next to it we have an inspector inspector what does it mean uh, in case you're accessing a website you're pressing certain buttons you're going to certain navigations you do not know which which fields are, which commands are all uh, written in the background of those uh, uh, navigation paths you do not have to know that it is all captured using the inspector it is very user friendly and the inspector is embedded in the modeler so once you create a modeler the inspector is part of the modeler and you just open a website you stand on a field you wait for a couple of seconds and this information is then transferred back to the modeler. So it is very user-friendly. You do not know, need to know the source code of the website at all. All the steps which you are executing are then transferred directly to the modeler. It's a very nice feature. Also, we have the capability of recording your steps. Suppose you want to access a website, uh, enter certain values, uh, navigate to a certain path. All these steps can be recorded. And those recordings will be then tra transferred to a modeler and you can uh, define them as per your need. So also it is very uh, uh, good to inform you that the Robusta tool can be both on-premises as well as in the cloud. Depending on the customer need, everything is supported. So let's go to the modeler. Actually, also I want to show you how easy it is to create a, demo, uh, a small application from scratch um, using uh, just a, a couple of buttons uh, to open a website. So this is the modeler. And as previously mentioned, all these features are all BPM native until the artifacts. So all the BPM developers among us should recognize all these uh, options below these uh, buttons. From chatbot onwards, you see we have chatbot, web, WhatsApp, application, keyboard, mouse, clipboard, Excel, all the way down to SAP. These are all developed by Robusta and they're very powerful. As mentioned, we have SSH, FTP, computer vision, etc., etc. I see you wondering maybe what does all these features mean? No worries. We have a fully documented uh, website where you can see everything documented in full detail. Suppose you're interested to know what does page 64 encoder mean or this CAPTCHA solver. I'm sure you heard of CAPTCHA solver. Once you want to check whether you're a robot or not, you need to solve some captures. And suppose you're not in, uh, aware of what this means. You just go to the documentation and you go all the way to more down. <coughs> Computer vision. And you press here, capture solving. Your estimated reading time. You can use a capture and solve. So an example, you have a file example. You have a response uh, all these details. So it is very uh, nice, documented, etc. So for now, what we'll do is we'll create a, 
application from scratch and run it to see how easy it is. Start with a clear uh, page. This is the start event. Next to that, we need to open an application. We connect the start event with the application. Then we press on the application. We can give the application a name. It's default with application open, but let's say, call it open the YouTube website. Give a value, open YouTube. See, we have different applications which we can access. For now, we'll just use Chrome, and we'll give the type. We have a wait feature. In this wait feature, you can define how long the website should be open. Uh, for example, we'll give it five seconds. You can enter minutes, hours, etc. For, for now, we just put five seconds. Once we have the website open for five seconds, we can then close the website. Here we have the application, and in this drop down, it's very nice. It's immediately detecting all the applications which you defined. In our case, it's called Open YouTube. And we can also then change the name to a more logical meaning, which is called uh, Close the YouTube site. Also, what is worthwhile to no notice is we have a document feature in all these uh, options. And in this document feature, you can write extensive text like uh, this uh, op option has been created uh, in order to close the website of uh, seconds. This was needed because, etc., etc., etc. All this information is stored and can be extracted based on the modeler, which is very convenient in case you're doing knowledge sharing or handover sessions. So all the information is, is kept centrally. Finally, we need to close the process. So now we have a uh, new process from scratch created in a couple of seconds. We save it, save. Always, it's a good practice to also validate your uh, process for any uh, design errors. So luckily, there are no design errors. So we created it, and let's run it. Run the process. It should be scheduled. Yeah, it is successfully placed on the queue. It will be picked up depending on the priority of the process. This, get, this takes a couple of seconds. So here we can see that the, the browser is opening, YouTube is being entered, and it should wait for a couple of seconds, five to be uh, exact, and then it closes this website as well. So this was a very brief demo of how to develop a process from scratch. We also prepared some more information. As mentioned in this demo, we will calculate the body mass index. What I have is a, I have on my uh, test on my in my C drive a directory called Robusta Temp and BMI. This can be any directory whatsoever, and I, a file which I named BMI Calculator. So for now we have three values there, but this can be much more. So if we put 200 centimeters say 120 kilograms and uh, maybe we have a person the way which is 170 centimeters and just weighing 55. 
save this file. We added a couple more and we close it. We now go to the application, which is this one. So in here, you see all the steps defined in order to read from the Excel. I will go into visual editor and ex explain you the step by step. So initially we just open the Excel. You can see here the part. It's, it can be any part which you prefer. Next to that, we open a website. And then we change the website. It's, it's put the uh, default to the not metric, but a different value. Let me just quickly check it. It's set to standard. You see also, it is asking me for a cookie. This is very important to know. Uh, it's it's uh, set to standard, but we are actually want to metric. You can see this is feet and inches, which is used in uh, the US, but in Europe, we mostly use this one. Uh, so this information is, if you go back, we have to put uh, that it is metric, metric values. Oh, this is the actual, the cookie, the one you saw just now. In here, you can click and then agree on the uh, uh, privacy settings. And in here, we set the metric settings. We read from the Excel. And in this Excel, we can see what is the size. So we can then see that there are five records. This is very important because we need to loop in this process five times. And we need to have this uh, value defined. We get the height, we get the width, we place the height, you can see height, we place the width in the website, we press calculate, we get the end result, and we uh, save this information to the Excel, we save and we close, and we finally close the application all by itself. So this is a, a very uh, short process of how to read from an Excel, populate it to the spreadsheet, uh, populate it to the website, get the value from the website and send it back to the Excel. So let's run it to see it in a live situation. The process is scheduled successfully. This means it's placed on the queue and it will be picked up any second now. Depending on the priority of the process, it can take a couple of seconds. Yeah, here we see that the website is open, the browser is opened. We have to press agree. We change it to metric. We get the value from the spreadsheet. We enter it. We change it. It's calculating. BMI is normal. Gets the second row, populates it, press calculate, gets the value overweight. Third row, again overweight. Fourth row, obese. And the last row, underweight probably, or even normal. Mm -hmm. Once it's done, the website is closed automatically. So you can see all these calculations just took a couple of seconds. Now let's see the actual end result. You can see that the, the, the spreadsheet has changed just now. Let's open it and see whether the values are transferred correctly. Here we can see indeed all these values are successfully placed in the right field. This is, in very short, one example of what, you, what we are capable of doing. And please note that developing such an application is very fast, very user-friendly, and well-documented. We also have a second scenario uh, defined for you, which is a price check. Suppose you have, want to check what is a price of a product on Amazon. You open the Amazon website, you type in the word keyboard, as you're interested in, in buying a keyboard. You get a price of the first hit and you want to have this price transferred back to a text file. Um, this is what we designed. This text file 
will be placed in. Currently, there is no text file, as you can see. Let's keep this open. We go to the modeler and close this one. This is the Amazon example. Let's look at it in detail. So first we open the Amazon website. It's very simple. Then we put a value keyboard. And we give the value in this field, which is handled by the inspector. Then we press search. It searches the, uh, the, uh, the values for keyboard. Then you select the first value. It's a, it's a press finding. Then you get the price from that uh, first hit. You create a new text file. The text file is created in this directory with this name. You write the value price, which you got here, price. This is the logic of defining the variable. Here you define it. Here you write it to your text file, which you created here. And finally, you close the application. Let's run it. The process is scheduled successfully. Again, this means the process is put on a queue. It will be picked up immediately. Here you can see the Amazon website. Keyboard is being entered. It finds a hit. It selects the first value. Price is 34.99, as you can see. It copies this price and it writes it to a text file. Let's see if this really happened. Here we can see, indeed, this file has been created just now. Let's open it and see whether it actually contains the right price. Here we can see, indeed, 34.99 dollars again this process was created in a couple of steps it is very user friendly and it is so easy to use that even me without having a background of rpa was able to grasp this solution and build such an application from scratch uh, with all uh, good support of this documentation and of course of support of the robusta team I would like now, now to hand over back to word to uh, Bilge. Thank you, Mohamed. Uh, thank you for this wonderful uh, and successful demo session. Yeah. Uh, well, I would like to thank you all once again for, for your participation on behalf of my uh, Robusta team. Uh, I hope that it was an informative event for you all and hopefully you all enjoyed it. Well, before uh, we went into the question and answer session, if you want to try our product, you can make a request via community.robusta.ai address and our academy will be there to help you instantly. And for any further questions, you can always reach me or reach us uh, directly at info at uh, robusta.ai address, email address. Uh, thank you once again. and. Uh, hard hard to give a dance for the Dutch people, for the Dutch attendees. Yes, Murat Bey. I think we have a question. Can you read the question, maybe? Yes, sure. Well, very interesting demo. Thank you. I have a question. Can process run on background? Because there might be cases we are doing more than 100 irritations or even more. We don't want to see on the screen everything you don't want to see everything on the screen i think uh, he, he meant uh, maybe i can uh, answer this question uh, yes uh, that is possible with robusta uh, even uh, we support the headless mode which means uh, the browser you don't need to open the browser but uh, robusta can act as if uh, the browser is open but it is in the background uh, so the users uh, doesn't see anything but uh, the Browser is uh, open uh, virtually and uh, perform the similar activities that uh, as if the user is clicking uh, certain uh, buttons or getting information or 
pasting information on the uh, websites. But this is uh, only for the web applications. Uh, Windows application uh, doesn't have uh, this option. Yeah, also maybe interesting to inform about the uh, Word and Excel uh, option. They don't have to open. They can also read from the documents without opening them, uh, as understood from Yusuf. Yeah, that's true. Uh, for the Excel uh, or uh, the mail, we support the both. You can uh, open uh, from the front end as a, uh, any user activity, or uh, we can also process uh, any Word, Excel uh, type of uh, files from the background as well. Uh, Mahmoud, would you be able to close the presentation, please? Uh, this one, you mean? Yeah, we can we can stick to this one. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, any 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 more questions? Yes. Salchuk is asking, any coding skills required? No, I, uh, I can confirm that uh, I do not have any background uh, whatsoever in RPA. And uh, within a short time uh, window, a couple of sessions uh, with the team, I was able to uh, quickly uh, get knowledge of the system and be able to develop uh, applications as you saw just now. Also, maybe it's uh, good to mention that next to the uh, documentation, there are several YouTube uh, videos uh, provided by Robusta, uh, which explain and provide examples of how to develop and how to use this tool, uh, which are very user-friendly as well. Yes, anyone else? Please do not hesitate, just type if you have any questions in mind. Well, everyone seems to be quite quiet. <laughs> so, yes, there is one more question from Angelo. In any case, can your reporting integrate or connect to to Power BI? He's asking. Murasan, maybe you can uh, take this question. So we, uh, I mean, uh, the connecting to Power BI, uh, we you can uh, we support the UI integration and the API or web service integration as well. If uh, Power BI had any uh, web service or API, you can uh, uh, execute uh, from Robusta. Uh, so we support the both uh, background and UI integration. Uh, also, uh, we can. Uh, you know, the Robusta itself is also producing a lot of log files uh, related to the process flow itself. Uh, so we are also uh, publishing these logs outside, and you can also uh, we uh, report uh, using the our reporting modules uh, also shows this uh, uh, reporting as kind of dashboards. But if you want to uh, use uh, only your uh, dashboard, you can also take this uh, log files and push into your uh, monitoring system for the reporting purposes or uh, audit uh, purposes, uh, all this information. But uh, yeah, for your question, uh, yeah, you can uh, feed uh, the Power BI uh, or execute uh, the, any processes from Robusta or uh, another way of uh, doing also you can uh, execute uh, any process uh, which is defined uh, in robusta robusta publishes uh, this as a web service to outside you can also trigger any uh, process uh, defined in robusta from the outside uh, via web services 
I hope this answered your question. Um, Elida is asking, I want to try this product. Is your trial version available? Uh, for that, uh, we have uh, community edition, the uh, cloud-based. You can just subscribe and uh, get the username and password and immediately uh, try to use it. You are welcome, welcome Angela. Uh, so maybe... move the next uh, slide please yes yes for more information here are the details yes like i mentioned you can um you if you want to try our product you can make a request we are uh, our community dot dot ai address and as I said, our academy is always going to be there to help you immediately. And any further for any questions, yeah, you can just contact me after the demo or whenever you would like to. Uh, I can try to help you out there. And or, or you can use the info at robusta.ai address, our email address as well. So there's one more question from Salchuk. Uh, what are the advantages using VPM and RPA together? It's the best of both worlds, but uh, maybe Murat, maybe you can uh, elaborate a bit more on that. Yeah, BPM, uh, actually BPM technology is around a long time and uh, it is uh, actually uh, coordinating the uh, IT systems and people in a, a company. So in this, uh, any process flow, uh, the company is already automated a certain uh, part of the uh, process using the any IT systems, but still uh, there are a lot of uh, human in the loop. So, uh, but the human in this uh, process uh, performing certain manual task, which is repetitive, and instead of people is uh, performing this task, uh, RPA can take over, and uh, people can focus to more valued tasks. So actually, uh, the BPM and RPA are complementary technologies, and uh, in the coming uh, very near future, uh, these uh, two technology uh, will be converged. Yes, anyone else? I think everything was quite clear for everyone because Mahmoud explained it really in a simple way. There, there's one more from Angela, okay. Uh, what is Robusta's edge against others like UiPad and Blueprint and competitors? So uh, we, uh, as as Robusta, we are uh, we just started uh, late than the uh, existing products. So we had the chance to observe what uh, what are they doing. So uh, the the competitors, of course, they are all uh, good products. But uh, where we observe certain uh, certain you know, inefficiencies in that uh, products. So uh, then uh, we have uh, just chosen and, uh, the best way of uh, the handling the business process management and automation together. So that's why, uh, first of all, uh, we uh, for us the uh, important part of it the uh, the user experience. So at, uh, with the uh, existing uh, products, you need RPA developers. RPA developers are kind of uh, the uh, ERP consultants in the past. So IT consultants are very expensive for the customers. So the, then uh, accessing and finding these resources are uh, also uh, difficult for the companies. 
Uh, also, there is IT dependencies. Uh, you need to know uh, certain secret languages, uh, etc. Then this means uh, only limited person, uh, limited uh, people can automate uh, the processes. Robusta aims uh, everyone can automate their uh, processes without uh, you know, requiring any IT knowledge. We are truly no code uh, platform. We don't need to know any IT knowledge. Uh, so with with our community edition, you can also experience the same. Uh, with the uh, with if you know uh, the, any process flow, you can immediately learn. Especially for the people who knows uh, the BPM, we observed in a couple of uh, training, they can immediately start uh, to automate their uh, processes. Yes, uh, so An Angelo asked uh, another question. Yeah. Does Robusto support API integration uh, without uh, coding stuff? Yes, uh, Robusto supports uh, uh, the API or web service integration without uh, writing any code. Well, Leonardo is asking what are the general use cases for Robusto? Well, we have a lot of use cases, different scenarios, right, Murat Bey? Yeah, uh, I think uh, RPA, Robusta is a platform, and uh, you, know, you can train uh, Robusta to perform whatever uh, task, uh, manual task you have. But usually, the, uh, of course, uh, the people we see, uh, we, have, we have more than 60 uh, customers, and we uh, see what type of uh, processes are automated uh, by our customers. Uh, because uh, also uh, more than 40% of our customers doesn't require any uh, consulting services. Uh, they can automate their process uh, by their own without uh, needing any uh, consultancy. Uh, so we just uh, observe certain uh, processes, uh, for example, the employee onboarding, offboarding, any uh, accounting uh, related uh, or finance related uh, processes are uh, hanging uh, fruit uh, for the RPA and mostly used uh, by the uh, companies. Yes. Well, Angela is also is an RPA developer as far as I can read from here. So sorry for asking. It's not a problem. The session is meant for this. So you're welcome, Angela. Neslian is asking, do you have any business partners in the Netherlands? Yes, we do have. Yes. And I think they are in this uh, meeting. Maybe they can introduce uh, themselves. Dennis? Pierre, are you here? <laughs> I'm here, Bilge. Okay, yeah, uh, my name is Pierre Huizing. I run a small IT company, Huizing IT, and I partnered with uh, Robusta few months ago so if you have any questions feel free to uh, to look me up on the internet on linkedin uh, www.housing.net and i'd be happy to help you introduce you to the robusta team Dennis, also here i think Dennis bay are you here i i saw his name in the beginning, but I'm not sure if he's, he's still here. Yeah, it seems he dropped. Yeah. So Dennis is the CEO and the founder of One to One for Business Bebe company. So we are working closely together with Dennis as well for the Dutch market. And of course, uh, to mention, I'm located in uh, the Netherlands. Yes. I'm yes. a native, yes. Dutch, uh, native Dutch speaker. Uh, so and any support uh, on site in Holland, uh, I'm more than uh, happy to assist. OK, if you have if you don't have any more questions or any comments, we would like to close up our 
demo session today. And once again, I would like to thank you all for joining us. And like I mentioned, please contact us uh, if you have any further questions. Check our website, our LinkedIn site. We will be happy to help you out there. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mahmoud. Thank you, Murat Bey. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.